With any luck, this video will give you a more comprehensive understanding of the pretty mineral pink tourmaline. Pink tourmaline is a stunning gemstone that has become increasingly popular in recent years. Of course, it's a member of the tourmaline family, which includes a wide range of colours and variations. In this video, I'm going to try and explore how pink tourmaline forms, where it's found, how it's mined, its overall value, varieties, and how to identify it. Pink tourmaline is a type of mineral that forms in the Earth's crust through the crystallization of molten rocks, also known as magma. It can also form in sedimentary rocks or metamorphic rocks that have been exposed to high temperatures and pressures. Tourmalines are complex minerals that can contain a variety of elements. These include things like aluminium, iron, magnesium, lithium, sodium and potassium. Like tourmalines more broadly, pink tourmaline can be found in various locations around the world. Most notable locations would include areas like Brazil, Afghanistan, Nigeria, Madagascar, Mozambique, as well as the United States. The specific location of the gemstone can affect its colour and quality, with some regions producing more vivid and highly sought-after gemstones. Mining pink tourmaline can be a challenging process, as it often occurs in very small quantities and is scattered throughout the surrounding rocks. The mining process typically involves locating and then excavating the rock, which is then crushed and sorted to separate the tourmaline from the surrounding materials. Small-scale miners often use hand tools to extract the gemstones, while larger operations might use heavy machinery. In a relative sense, pink tourmaline is an extremely highly prized gemstone, with prices ranging from a few dollars per carat, and for context a carat is about a fifth of a gram, to several thousand dollars per carat, depending on the quality of the stone of course. But interestingly, pink tourmaline does tend to exist on this fairly organic upward trajectory, where it tends to be worth more and more over time. Some of the factors that can affect the value of the gemstone include things like colour, clarity and cut. Pink tourmaline can range in colour from pale pink to a deep magenta, with more intense and saturated colours typically being more valuable. There are, of course, various different kinds of pink tourmaline, each with its own unique characteristics. Rubellite, for example, is a deep pink to red variety of tourmaline, whilst watermelon tourmaline features a green outer layer and then a pink centre. Other varieties might include things like bicolours or parti-coloured tourmaline, which feature multiple colours within the same stone. Identifying pink tourmaline can be challenging, as it can often resemble other gemstones such as pink sapphire or even pink topaz. Some of the key characteristics to look for when trying to identify pink tourmaline include its hardness, which is generally about a 7 to 7.5 on the Mohs hardness scale, making it not unlike quartz. Its specific gravity is a 3.6 to a 3.10, and its pleochroism, which means that it appears to change colour depending on the angle at which it is viewed, is another discernible characteristic that screams pink tourmaline. To summarise much of the information thus far, pink tourmaline is a beautiful and highly valued gemstone that is formed through the crystallisation of molten rocks and can be found in various locations around the world. The mining process can be challenging and the value of the gemstone can vary depending on factors such as its colour, clarity and cut. However, it does exist on a fairly organic upward trajectory which generally means that nice pieces will be worth more over time. By understanding the characteristics of pink tourmaline, you can identify this gemstone and appreciate its unique beauty.